Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the another video. iOS 17.3.1 is out for 24 hours. In this video, I'm going to talk about battery life performance and I'm also going to show you Geekbench score. I'm also going to talk about that how PUBG Mobile is performing because some of you people were asking me that how BGMI is working on the iOS 17.3.1. So I tested that out too. So in this video, I'm going to cover all these things. Well, first thing first, as you can see, the build number is 21D61 and it is available for everyone to download and it is here to fix bugs. When it comes to double dot update, it is always about fixing bugs or a security update. It is not about features. So what it is fixing it is text was unexpectedly getting duplicated or overlapping while typing. So it is fixed with this update. So you can definitely install this update. Well, now let's go to the battery and see how the battery perform for this day. So going into settings, then going to the battery over here, let the battery stats load, tasks and days. So this is the day. As you can see, I used around 75 to 80% of my battery according to the graph and the screen on time, which I get is 6 hours and 44 minutes, which is a decent one, I could say. While well, going over here, as you can see, I was playing PUBG Mobile. I was also using Snapchat, Instagram, X, YouTube, and I also did a Geekbench score test. So I played PUBG Mobile for almost 40, uh, 49 minutes. I was active on Snapchat for a long while and used Instagram and X. And I, I can say that it's a decent battery life, like using it for 75% and it gave me six hours and a 44 minute which is i would say it's a decent battery time which is really good now let's talk about how was the performance of pubg mobile now in my yesterday video in my previous video i talked about that i faced lag on the ios 17.3 but today running ios 17.3.1 i didn't face any issue with the pubg mobile definitely i'm going to test it more in upcoming days so i will uh, I will be coming up with more videos so make sure to subscribe to the channel for those videos also yesterday I talked about that I am having issue on whatsapp uh, with the RAM management with the iOS 17.3 but with the iOS 17.3.1 that uh, bug is also fixed there is no issue with the RAM management now whatsapp is working quite good on the iOS 17.3.1 which is really good now let's talk about the geek bench score over here so going to geek bench score cpu history i test, tested this today on the single core i am getting 2332 while on the multi core i got 5652 now let's see the average or going to single core over here the average of iphone 14 is about 2222 as you can see over here and i'm getting better than the average which is really good now going to the multi-core again the average is 5374 and i'm getting more than 20 uh, more than the average one on my device which is 56.5652 which is really good so yeah gigabyte scores are also really good also really decent battery life is also really good and everything is working ram management is also fixed uh, with this update so Answering your simple question, should you update to the iOS 17.3.1? Yes, definitely you should update. You can simply go to settings, then go to journal, then go to software update and you will see the update. But if you are running iOS 17.4 beta version, you are not going to see this update. For that, you have to downgrade to the iOS 17.3, then you can update but you cannot directly update to the 17.3.1 well that's it from this video i hope you like this video if you did give this video a big thumbs up do like and share this video subscribe to my channel and i will see you in my next video until then take care peace out